won't you pull me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost, let's turn up the love Now it is way too late But I just can't get my eyes off of you Maybe we will regret this But tomorrow is another day And I will do anything I will do anything to get your love Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in So wish me good luck Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love Because it's on How does such a small space accumulate so much clutter? I'm still honestly trying to figure that out. But in today's video, we are completely reorganizing this laundry room. This is actually part two of my laundry room makeover. In my last video and in part one, we completely redid the floors, the walls, and the light fixture. And in today's video, I'm going to be completely decluttering and organizing this space. I'm also gonna be adding some simple decor throughout the space to really make it pop. If you missed last week's video, I'll link it down below and also up here on the top right so that you can check it out. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle and I typically do tons of cleaning motivation as well as organizing here and there. And this is one of those spaces that I'm going to be completely organizing. In most spaces in my home, it's not a reorganization or tidying up. It's a complete makeover. Like I have not organized the space in the almost seven years that we've been in this home. So whenever I find the time between working and chasing around my two toddler girls, then I take on one of these big projects. We do have an awesome community here and I would love it more than anything if you would stick around and subscribe. The first thing that we're doing to get started is take everything out of the space and I'm actually taking you down memory lane a bit from last week's video where we completely emptied out the room. Once we got everything emptied out, then I was left with a pretty big mess to clean up. After we got everything cleaned up, then we went ahead and ripped out all of the tile and added board and batten onto the walls. The project took a total of about four days and that was without procrastinating because you know, you can only go so long without having your washer and dryer available. And the cost of the project was about $375. I knew our laundry room had clutter, but I didn't realize just how much it did until we emptied everything out. Here was the final project, which I did do the DIY in last week's video, but now we need to get everything back in and completely organize it and make the space functional. When starting a project, I like to look at what are some of the biggest pain points, and then I like to come up with a plan to tackle those pain points. So for this space, I determined that the biggest pain points were that it was disorganized, dysfunctional, and dull. With the DIY makeover, we managed to take, take care of the dull part of it, but now we need to take care of the dysfunction and the disorganization. As you can see here, we have clutter just spread out everywhere in baskets underneath the washer and dryer, and that is what we are going to take care of in this video. We had laundry piled up from the days that our washer and dryer was out of commission. And one of the biggest things that I struggled with was actually finding really, really good laundry baskets. No matter how hard I tried to keep up with laundry, it just seemed to pile and overflow all over the floor. Chris and I have had a, the same laundry basket for like, I wanna say 10 years. And then I just grabbed a very small laundry basket that the two girls were sharing with the idea that the smaller the laundry basket, the more I would do laundry, but that never happened. Also, I didn't have a laundry basket for the towels, so the towels would just pile up on the floor and those were always the last to get washed. So when searching for laundry baskets, I decided to go with something really durable, high quality, and that would last us a very long time. 
I also wanted them to be aesthetically nice and pleasing. So I had looked at wicker baskets, I had looked at regular plastic laundry baskets, but these baskets that I ended up ordering from Crate and Barrel ended up just having the best reviews and seemed super high quality. Now they had these laundry, these same laundry baskets, the brand is called Steel. They had them at Wayfair, they had them at the actual Steel website, and they had them a few other places but Crate and Barrel actually had them the cheapest and um, they also had like a 15% coupon that I used as well. So I ended up going with these. They hold so much laundry and I do not regret it one bit. Because we had everything piled up for days, I am sorting through all of the laundry and segregating everything out. I'm gonna see if everything fits in these baskets. Warm hands, but there's something cold in the way you are. The things you're saying, and they're going good, but it left a scar. You invite me, and then you turn me down. Get my hopes up, and then you're gone. I fall. I had three fabric fold out baskets that I had on top of the washer and dryer with just a bunch of random stuff in there. It was all stuff for like cleaning and vacuum parts and honestly I don't know what else. So I'm going to go through all of these baskets and the wicker baskets are what I plan to kind of replace those with. The wicker baskets are from the Studio McGee collection at Target and I really thought that they would go great with the look of the room. It's I don't plan on putting these baskets on top of the washer and dryer like I did the previous ones, but instead I plan to put them on the very top shelf. So when keeping that in mind, then I plan to put things in these baskets that I don't need to reach very often. Weekends are passing by like everything is fine. I know this is so So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what is your biggest struggle when starting a new organization project? Is it the planning part of it? Is it actually finding the time to be able to do it? Is it finding the products that will fit your space and kind of how to organize in those areas? Leave me a comment and let me know below. For me, it's the planning part of it. I always like going in with a plan, but I don't always know the exact way that I want to do things. For example, when I start to declutter, then I have to go through some steps as far as, am I gonna use this? Am I ever gonna need it? Who can I give it to? Where can I donate it? And it just kind of becomes a little bit overwhelming. If I have some sort of plan ahead of time, then it helps the process go a lot smoother. So in this space, I also keep a lot of our beach stuff and our pool stuff we live in texas so it's hot our summers are very hot i don't know why i have so much sunscreen i think that um as i'm going through it i'm going to throw away some old sunscreen as i started reading about like ingredients and stuff i started switching out some of the products but you know when you're on vacation or you're somewhere and you forget your sunscreen and then you just buy more i think that's also what happened as well but if the can was almost empty or it looked super, super old, then I decided just to toss it. I'm also going through some of these older beach bags. And as you can see, some of these have mold on it. So I figured that I really don't have a use for it. I don't need a whole ton of different beach bags. Definitely don't need ones with mold on it. So I also decided to go ahead and toss the ones that I'm not gonna use. I'll be with you. Let me be the 
that I plan on tackling is the very top shelf with tons of clutter and stuff that we hardly ever use. I don't even know what half of the stuff up here is, but I plan on taking everything down and going through it. So I'm starting on the top left section and everything that I'm taking down there is actually light bulbs. I asked Chris, my husband, like what is all of these light bulbs? But I forgot that we had changed almost every single light bulb in our house from like the warm white, so they give like a yellowish tint to the bright white. So because of that, we have all of these light bulbs that are still good, they're just not the color that we want. So as he was switching all of them out, then he was just storing them up in that corner until I finally decided to go through them and then decide what to do with them. I also find some other random stuff like my old graduation hat, which I probably won't be needing that anymore. And a funny thing is I had been looking for that little mini label maker forever. It's really easy when I just need like one really quick, simple label, but I couldn't find it. So I'm glad I finally found it. One thing I noticed when watching lots of home organizing type videos or the home edit style or anything like that, then I noticed that they always used so many different containers. And when I started my organizing projects, like in the kitchen, in the pantry, and then in other areas in my space, I tend to find that I get a little bit carried away with containers. Now, although I mention all the time that I'm not a minimalist, I did want to keep this area a little bit minimal. So I didn't want to have a whole bunch of extra detergents and extra things that I really just don't use in the laundry room. So I wanted to keep it as simple as possible, have the least containers as possible, and then keep it as decluttered as possible. This way I don't over consume, over complicate, and then over clutter it again. So 
as I was going through the spaces, I had completely forgot that these drawers underneath the washing machine come out and that I have a whole bunch of junk stored in them. We initially bought them just to help raise up the washer and dryer and obviously use it as a storage space, but I have not opened these drawers in I don't even know how many years. So here I'm gonna go through, get rid of all of these unused products and then only put back ones that I think that I'll use in the future. comment down below let me know is your laundry room already decluttered or is that a project that you have on your to-do list Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to, we got nothing to lose You're looking so old, you're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room tell me what you want to the things that i decided to keep underneath this space i ended up categorizing and the things that are going in the very back are any type of insect or bug killer the next thing i have are products that came with like vacuums that i bought so for example the shark vacuum came with a few products that go with it and um, other types of things like that i also had a ton of like scentsy smells um, from a scentsy that we had a long long time ago so i kind of kept that in a little basket and also put that in there now on this side, I decided to go ahead and clean it all out and then use it for any type of vacuum accessories. So I have two cordless vacuums. One is a Dyson and one is a Tenco. And with that, it has a few different types of attachments that come with it. And because I pull those attachments, in and out so often i decided to keep it super handy something that is really easy to grab instead of putting it on the baskets at the very top i ended up taking them out of those and then decided that this is where i'm going to store those items It feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly And when I look at you smile I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you most used products I wanted to keep right on top of the washer and dryer and I got this little lazy Susan turntable from home goods and I thought that it would just be perfect here I could keep my laundry detergents that I use as well as the color catcher sheets right on this and then just grab it when I need to for these baskets, I got rid of almost everything and just kept it super simple with products that need to stay in the laundry room, but I, but I don't typically use that often, such as the iron. Yeah, it's 
be said that they don't got a future future like that another important thing that i wanted to store in here was all of my cleaning supplies or at least a lot of them I also wanted to have them somewhat hidden so they're not out in the open on display, but still easy to get to and functional. So what I did is for the very top section, I put all of the cleaning products that I use almost on a daily basis. The next two sections, I thought I could think of something that we use kind of often that needs to stay in the laundry room and also easy to get to. So. One thing I thought of was putting, was ordering a couple containers. Now, the bigger containers, I misjudged the size, but I can always use those elsewhere. And the other smaller containers were the perfect size where I could section out two different items into that one cart. So because you saw earlier I had so much sunscreen, I decided to put one with just sunscreen so that way I can easily grab it and find it. And the other container, I decided to put all of our bug spray. Now we do have so many different types of bug spray because we live in Texas and literally in the summertime, you can barely walk outside without getting attacked by mosquitoes. So we have different types of bug spray, kids bug spray, deep off bug spray and stuff like that. So just another reason why we have so much. Now on the bottom, I decided to store any type of extra stuff like the Tide, the magic erasers and anything that I didn't want to like buy extra containers for. Now, one thing I did buy containers for that are out on display, which you saw earlier, are going to be the color catcher sheets and the dryer sheets. I typically prefer the method dryer sheets and with these sheets, they're a little bit longer than like the standard dryer sheets. So you can see that they don't fit perfectly, but they do fit pretty good. The next thing I did was get the color catcher sheets and also put them into the next clear container. The last thing that I use for almost every time that we wash clothes, especially the girls' clothes, is the spray and wash. I'm constantly using spray and wash if the girls have any stains on their clothes. So because that is also out in the open, I decided to get this cute little spray bottle for that, which I also got on Amazon. Now I will show you guys in just a minute that the cart is going to fit perfectly on the other side of the washing machine. So it's easy to get to, but you can't see any of this stuff. But I love that it is organized and functional and works because we don't have any cabinet space whatsoever to hide any of these products. So here is the little area where we left a space just wide enough to where if I need anything, I can just easily roll that in and out and grab it really quickly. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes so remember that little label maker that I found where, well, I just quickly used it here. I only had three labels to make and typically I will pull out my Cricut and make some really nice labels, but because I was kind of in a hurry, I just did it really quickly here. I also got a new computer, wanted to, I needed to re-download the software and get everything set up. So whenever I do pull out my Cricut again, I'll probably just remake these labels and make them a lot prettier. But these will do for now. I can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground and I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. Now I wanted to move on a little bit to the decor but also to the function. So I wanted to get these hooks. I ended up ordering a set of four gold hooks from Amazon to put on the new board and batten walls. 
I also ordered a set of these three prints. The designer is um, My Texas Home, and she has a whole line at Walmart. So I ordered these three pr prints at Walmart to put above the walls. Now, I did go a little bit with a botanical type theme because we ended up painting the walls. Um, the color is called Escape Gray, but it actually has a really, really pretty green tint to it. So I just wanted to give it a little bit of an earthy feel. So we're starting off by hanging the hooks first, and then we'll go ahead and start decorating with the pictures. she came from kind of turned me upside down i just don't know what to do i want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume now i really get what the love songs are talking about and i just want to tell her how i feel scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you I love the way the decor turned out, but I had a quick trip to Home Goods and I saw this picture and it kind of went with the other pictures and I thought that they would look great kind of on the very back wall. So I know I have three, a set of three pictures on the left wall, but whenever I'm looking straight into the laundry room, I felt like that top wall was kind of plain. So they're a little bit bigger pictures and a little bit different design, but I absolutely love the way that those turned out. But I hope that you got tons of inspiration from this video and if you enjoyed then make sure that you're subscribed because I have tons more great content coming out. If you hang on just for a minute longer I'll show you all of the befores and afters. From my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of to wake up